Hey everyone, it's your bro. Hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm going to explain the binary search algorithm in computer science. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, binary search. It's a search algorithm that finds the position of a target value within a sorted array or other collection. In order for a binary search to work, whatever we're searching through, it needs to be sorted. And basically what we do is we take half of the array and eliminate it during each step and we will whittle down our collection until there is only one element remaining. In this example, I have an array of 11 elements. Each element contains a letter and they're all sorted alphabetically. Let's say we are looking for the letter H and I need the index. What we would do with the binary search is that we always begin in the middle. We first check to see if our target value is equal to this middle value. If these are equal, then we can return this index, but odds are they're probably not going to be equal on the very first turn, the very first step. So these are not equal, then we will check to see if our target value is greater than or less than this middle value. Since H is greater than F, we can disregard this entire first half of our array, because since this is sorted, our target value could not possibly be within this first portion. And then we begin step two or phase two it's the same process as before so again we begin in the middle check to see if our target value is equal to the middle value they're not check to see if our target value is greater than or less than the middle value this time h is less than i we would delete the second half of this portion we're not actually deleting these values we're disregarding them and then we can move on to step three we're repeating the same process as before and this time these elements divide evenly. So we would just round down and begin and say that this is the middle. So H is greater than G. We would disregard this element and we only have H remaining. So we would return this index because these values are equal. And that's a binary search. Now a binary search isn't too efficient when working with small data sets. However, if you're working with a large data set like one million elements, well, then a binary search is actually fantastic because we're eliminating half of the elements we are searching through during each phase or turn. So if we had a million elements after the first phase, we can already disregard like half a million elements. And then we just repeat the process until there's only one left. So if this was an iterative approach, we would need to search through these linearly beginning with, you know, index zero and going all the way to a million. So a binary search is fantastic with large data sets. The runtime complexity of a binary search is O of log N. The larger the data set, a binary search becomes more and more efficient compared to other search algorithms. All right, let's perform a binary search in real life now. We'll use the built-in binary search method of arrays to begin with, and then later on we'll build our own binary search function. So we'll need an array to work with. Let's say we have an array of integers named array int array and the size of this array will be 100. We'll increase the size later for demonstration purposes, and we'll need a target value that we're searching for. I'll just name this target. Int target equals, what about 42? We'll search for the number 42, and we'll need to populate our array. So we can do so using a for loop. Int i equals zero. We will continue this for loop as long as i is less than array dot length, and increment i by one during each iteration. Then we will fill array at index i with whatever i is, our index. Okay, so the cheap way of using a binary search is to use the built-in binary search method of arrays. Let's say int index equals arrays dot binary search. And taking a look at this binary search method, there's two arguments that we have to pass in an array and whatever we're searching for. So we will pass in our array and our target, then return the index and let's display that. So let's check to see if our index is equal to negative one. If our target is not found, then that means negative one will be returned from our binary search method. So let's print something. System.out.println. Uh, what about element not found? Actually, better yet, target not found. Let me change that. Target plus not found. Okay, then else. Else, we will display system.alt.println element 
found at colon space plus index. All right, let's try it. Okay, element found at 42. Cool. Now let's create our own binary search function for practice. I'll turn this line into a comment, copy it, paste it, and get rid of this erase portion. Okay, then I'm just going to use a shortcut to generate this function. Okay, so private, static, int, binary search. There are two parameters, an array of integers named array and int target. So we'll return negative one. That acts as a sentinel value. Negative one means that the value is not found. Now what we'll need at this point is the beginning and ending index of our array. So let's say int low will be the beginning and int high is the end, array dot length minus one. So we have a low index and high index and we'll create a while loop. While low is less than or equal to high, we'll continue this while loop and keep on searching through our array. So first we need the middle index, int middle, and here's the formula for that, low plus high minus low divided by two. So we have our middle index, we will take int value equals our array at index of middle. So this will extract that value found within this element. Okay, so this portion is optional. I'm just going to display whatever this value is so we can count the amount of steps it's going to take to find a value. So let's say middle colon space, whatever this value is. This line of code is optional. I'm just doing this for educational purposes. Okay, now we need to check to see if our value is less than or greater than our target or equal to. If value is less than our target, low equals middle plus one. And actually I'm going to get rid of these curly braces. If you have an if statement and you only have like one line of code, you don't really need the curly braces. I'm just doing this so it's easier to read. Okay, else if value is greater than target, we will set our high index. High equals middle minus one else that means we have found our target else return middle so this means that target is found and by returning negative one that means target not found and that is our binary search function let's try it okay element found at 42 so it took us let's see one two three four four steps to find the number 42 within this array of 100 elements now let's increase the size because binary searches do extremely well with large data sets. So let's say we have 1 million elements and let's change this target. What about 777,000, whatever that number is. Okay, so let's search for it and let's count the steps. Uh, so there's quite a number of steps here, but let's count them 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 20 steps now imagine if we took a linear approach where we began at index 0 and looped through this entire array looking for this index and in that case looping through an array would have a runtime complexity of o of n to find this number it's going to take over 700,000 steps because we're iterating once for each element within this array, compared to a binary search where it only took 20 steps. Well then, in conclusion, a binary search is a search algorithm that finds the position of a target value within a sorted array. Half of the array is eliminated during each step or phase. So that's a binary search algorithm. If you would like a copy of all this code, of course, I will post this to the comment section down below. And that is the binary search algorithm in computer science. Hey you, yeah I'm talking to you. If you learned something new, then help me help you in three easy steps by smashing that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.